Well, it's a question of diplomacy and growth in understanding. I don't think James had fully grasped the freedom under the Torah of Messiah that Paul had fully grasped. But Paul is a tremendous diplomat. And so he says, we don't want to offend these Jews. So we're not against going into the temple and doing a ritual. If that pleases them, so let's do it. And they did. It doesn't mean that Paul was insistent on Jews or Gentiles doing that forever. So it's a question of development. James, I think, was a little bit slower than Paul in grasping the complete freedom that we Christians enjoy. And so Paul is willing to comply with James's request here. The Torah of Messiah is to be carefully distinguished from the Torah of Moses. I repeat that I think James had not fully understood that under the Torah of Messiah, all of us, Jew and Gentile alike, are not bound by the law of Moses. But there is a time to respect the views of the Jews and to do what they think is right. And so let's do what keeps them happy at this point. Okay, if there's a, a ceremony needed to be done in the temple, let's do that. That doesn't mean to say that one is obliged to do it, but because of the Jews who are not yet understanding, let's do it as an act of diplomacy. That's very smart and very wise. There's a very much a parallel thing I just want to mention. Over in Matthew, there was the question of paying the temple tax. And somebody said, well, Jesus, do your disciples keep that temple tax? And he said, no, we don't need to. However, note what Jesus said, so that we do not offend them, let's pay it anyway. And so they then discovered a coin in the mouth of a fish miraculously. And so there's this area of diplomacy. If I was in Israel and staying with a Jewish family, I would certainly observe the Sabbath with them, not because I have to, but because of diplomacy and wisdom, I will do it. And that's exactly what Paul is doing here. He doesn't resist James on this point. I think gradually James came to understand that neither Jew nor Gentile is now bound by the Torah of Moses. We are, all of us, Jew and Gentile Christians alike, bound by the Torah of Messiah, which is not, I repeat, not the same as the Torah of Moses. So I hope that makes the point clear.